Another day, another problem. My bike runs on three cylinders. Cylinder number three isn't working. A simple way to see what cylinder is working is whichever one, whichever outpipe stays cold means that cylinder isn't working. Uh, so one and two and four are heating up. Number three is staying absolutely stone cold. This one here, so these are nice and warm. That one's freezing. Taking the spark plug out, that one spark plug is clean as a whistle, it's, uh, it's unused. The other three are black, which means that the, the fuel-air mixture is wrong. Um, we need to address those. So with cylinder number three not firing, the first thing I can check is the pressure. I've checked that before, but I might as well double check it. Anything could have happened from then until now. Um, since I've had it, the bike could be a broken piston, could be a cracked piston, could be a cracked piston ring, so... Let's check the pressure. So you can see that's just reading under three there. Um, that's the same as the others. Pressure's fine in that. On to the next. So the pressure, fine. This is the next test. Um, an easy enough way to see if there's a spark. Take your spark plug out, put it in there. I hold it, I'll turn it around so you can actually see the spark plug. Hold it against the metal casing, and then give the back a kick. Um, if there's a decent enough spark there, you should be able to see a spark between the two points of the spark plug. So I've done that. I don't think the camera will pick up, so I'm not going to bother doing it now. Um, there is a spark, so pressure's good, spark's good. The feel's going into the float, or into the bowl. Carbs off. <laughs> um, and have a, have a good look at those. I'm a bit closer to that issue of the third cylinder not firing now. Stripped the carbs down again and looked at number three. So here it is here. I've labelled all these uh, one to four, so number three was the one we were having issues with. I think I've got it figured out. Um, so that little hole at the bottom left there uh, was completely blocked on number three. So you can see that there's a little um, pipe sticking out here. Now that takes up the fuel. That sits inside this hole here. That then slots on there and fuel gets sucked through that hole into there and through into the carburetors. With that hole being blocked, then there's no way that the fuel's gonna go up uh, until you open the throttle, um, but the, the whole configuration is completely off, so that wasn't gonna happen anyway. So I'm gonna put all this back together now, uh, fire up the bike and see if we can get anywhere. Okay, got the bike back together. Everything's where it should be. I'm going to give it another go now um, and find out if all four cylinders are running. Hopefully. There we go. 
Oh, <laughs> that is bloody good. Oh, oh just checking for leaks. There's <laughs> usually a leak after I start this. Uh, oh, shit. I didn't check the, uh, the rocker cover, actually. Um, that was a bit loose last time I... I fiddled with it, but that sounds bloody good. Um, and do the old school check of checking. Ah, oh shit, that's hot. Cylinder two hot, three is hot, and cylinder four is hot. So they're all, oh god, they're all hot to touch now. So all four cylinders are working, and it sounds bloody good. Really bloody good. That's really bloody good news. So, um, Sorry, I shouldn't really swear on this, should I? It's really good news. So that's me done for the end of the night now. It's getting a bit too late for me to do anything else now. But I've got all four cylinders working, which is brilliant. And the bike sounds really, really meaty, really good. So as a final message for this video, whatever you want to do, I mean, you can take this, this message in life, really. Whatever you want to do, persistence, keep at it, and it will work. So like this bike. It's working now, it's taken a long time, but persistence, don't give up. And if you're doing your own Cafe Racer build, then don't give up with that either. I've seen so many builds on eBay, you know, things that have been stripped down or things that have been part finished and they've just given up halfway through. Don't, don't, stick at it and it will work in your favor. So that's me for tonight.